Hey guys, welcome to part 5 of my how to speedrun no time to explain remastered uh, videos guide series uh, In this video, we'll take a look at the uh, water shark World, I guess <laughs> the shark topus world um, Yeah, let's just get right into it So in the uh... This is the last one where we'll listen, have to listen to uh, this guy complain, and uh, that's very lovely. Uh, so right off the bat, you just do a, uh, a you land here, do a quick hover all over or over all of these spikes into the portal. No biggie here. Uh, for this one, there are a few different strategies. You can go for the risky, just straight up. Uh, what's it called? Hover. From, uh, from here, it is very hard to get up there. I very rarely go for it because I have a hard time with it. Um, you can also just go for the uh, the water one. It's a little slow, uh, but it gets the job done. I mean, it was the uh, intended method. Oh, whoops, I <laughs> didn't want to do that. Or you can use utilize the slope to get some extra height um, by walking down, walking just a little bit up and then uh, shoot and, and like use that height that you get to uh, get all the way and that is a very safe way it's not the fastest but very safe way of, of, of getting there it's faster than the, the water method so you do uh, something like this and get up there uh, and if you get a very good launch you can actually get, go straight into the portal um, so so yeah those are the methods um, as you can see you can you can do it uh, here but if you just you're just a little bit off uh, on the angle and, and stuff, it, it, it doesn't work. And then you go down to water, <laughs> and it's actually really easy if you uh, mess this up to go f too far down and hit the spikes, uh, which is obviously not something you want. Um, so yeah, I, I, I opt to go for uh, for this method. Whoops, that was bad. Because you can gain a lot of height and actually go more or less straight into the portal. Um, so in the past, past few videos, I've talked about uh, times where you can utilize the uh, small window here to to launch from the spawn, and this is probably the most important level in the entire game to do that, um, because if you don't, you fall down here, and that takes like usually just about a second, I think, uh, if you don't get it. So quite good to get there um so in this level it's the first time you really use the uh, the water physics and uh, the movement in water uh for water you just want to shoot almost as much as possible uh obviously let go if you need some control but the more comfortable you get with shooting in the water uh the better um and try to block or blow out the the blocks that are in the way with as short bursts as possible because in the water you obviously get launched backwards uh when trying to shoot something unless you're standing on on the ground and even then you get a little, little back boost uh so this first part here would look something like like this to get like to get some quick movement um here is where you need to be careful with how much you shoot if you're not comfortable with the, the movement. Try to just shoot down to go faster. If you want to be a little bit safer, you can just float down. Uh, although that is obviously a lot slower. Um, here you just shoot down there, shoot all of the blocks. And uh, for this last part, you want to focus on the uh, the right side over here. Uh, and, and shoot as many of or shoot all of the blocks here if you can. You can actually shoot all of five all five blocks before hitting the spikes that are down here uh, below. Um, but it takes some practice, and even if you just get four of them, you can uh, shoot down, go upwards, just do a quick swing up, shoot, and down again. Uh, so something like this here is uh, preferable, and then into the portal. Um, but even if you don't get that, whoops that up even if you don't get that it's uh it's completely fine so it could be like something like that 
and you just do a quick uh, swing up, and, and you get it. What kind of monster um, is this, anyway? this is one of the uh, more intricate ones, and uh, it takes a lot of practice to uh, keep on floating and, and go through these spikes fast. Um, ideally, you do uh, something like this here. Definitely utilize this ceiling to, to go over these spikes very safely. Uh, I think the intention of this level was that you take a like checkpoint here uh, because if you if you die you just respawn here. Um, but very rarely it, it would ever be worth it because you can just like shoot into the ceiling here uh, and land here even if that was necessary. But it's not really because the portal is down there. Uh, so quick uh, completion would look something like this here. Boom. Um, for this one, you want to aim for, oops, for uh, this column over here with the spikes because the portal is straight underneath that. Fly over uh, and just like shoot downwards. Not much to it. So ideally you go something like this, and you just shoot straight down. Um, here the, we actually do a little bit of a skip. The intended route is obviously this here, and into that. Uh, but you can fairly easily, if you just shoot down and, and hold right, skip these two uh, water blocks over here, which is obviously a lot faster. Uh, so yeah. Something like this, or a little diagonal to uh, get a more get more horizontal speed, and uh, enter the boss. Uh, so this boss is a little weird. Uh, recently, I upgraded from uh, 16 RAM to 32 RAM, which decreased the load time uh, a whole bunch. Which uh, we had to <laughs> to really get a load remover developed and uh, that's nice works wonderful we can talk about that and maybe in a later video but for this uh for some reason it changed this fight <laughs> the the amount of ram i'm pretty sure that's it there wasn't any i didn't do any other changes to my computer other than that um so in this fight you there's two phases and in uh, phase one you uh have you fight against the shark that pops up and tries to attack you. Uh, before it does that, it sets up some bubbles um, that are kind of crucial in uh, in terms of timing. But for some reason, it, it only does it like half half the time now for me, uh, which is very annoying. Hopefully, won't do that for you. Uh, I still haven't figured out exactly why it does it or why it doesn't. Um, so now I have to rely on the music choose to know uh know the timing and stuff but essentially there are some the bubbles to pop up uh where the shark will will jump up uh it is very tempting to switch boat um as soon as you see the bubbles but that will just mean that the shark will uh jump up and over to the, the other boat uh so let me see if we can show you here. Um, okay, no bubbles this time. So here it just jumped straight up. That's what we want. If we move too fast, it'll jump over uh, and, and attack us like that. We don't want that. Um, at least not on the first jump. Um, and as you can see, there was no bubbles, which is totally random. Um, so yeah, let's see. There we have the bubbles. Ideally, you want to wait until the bubbles hit the boat. I think I was a little fast there, yeah. Um, and you can see the uh, the shark moved over. Um, but ideally, you want to wait until the bubbles hit the boat that you're standing on. See if there's uh, bubbles this time. No bubbles. And as soon as you land on the other boat, you just start shooting. For the uh, the second jump, it is okay if it jumps over toward or like uh, it, it jumps back to to you watch you to the middle boat, um, because you can kill it before it hits you 
or kill the first face before it hits you. Uh, but for the first for the first dive, it's it's very uh, awkward if it uh, if it jumps over, and uh, it's very hard to dodge without jumping into the water. And if you don't jump into the water, you have a hard time setting up for the the next jump, and and so on. So the first uh, first part is definitely the most important. Um, for the second phase, we have the uh, the octopus, and uh, there's actually a safe spot here on the uh, on the boat on this very far right side. And just uh, keep shooting at a diagonal, tapping left. Ignore that it uh, dips down. Keep uh, shooting, and uh, just have a constant visual on yourself and the position you are at uh, until uh, it, it uh, roars up. Wait a little bit and then uh, jump up. That was a little late because of the uh, what's it called, the pause screen timing and stuff. Um, you want to wait for the uh, the, the head bounce to uh, go down, up, down, and on the way it up, you want to start your own hover upwards and uh, go a little to the side of it because you can actually get hit by the head. Um, but try and get as much height as possible to. Enter the ship faster and and therefore loading the uh, the next world faster. Um, so a full fight would look something like uh, like this here. Let's see if we can uh, can get it. Okay, there I had to rely on the uh, on the music again. Oh, quite okay. Uh, and now we just stand here. Keep a constant visual on uh, my guy. So I don't walk off. And they kill. One, two, three, and up there. We go up, and that's as much height as we can uh, roughly get uh, to, to enter the ship faster. Um, and yeah, that was the uh, shark to push level. Uh, stay tuned for the next guide. Or I'll see you in the next guide.